So for a past couple of days, my light switch has been flickering. So I decided, hey, I'm going to go ahead and fix it myself. So just a disclaimer, I am not an electrician. If you need help changing your light switch, please contact a professional. I'm just sharing what I did. So I went to a store and I decided to switch my light switch to a paddle switch because I think those look a lot more modern. You see the background there and everything. And I, of course you have to buy the new cover. Okay, so this is what I have. I'll have links in the description section below if you want to go check that out. Now the next thing we have to do now is that we're going to need a screwdriver and some type of light source because when I mess with anything electrical, I turn off the lights of the entire house. I'll go to the electric panel and shut that off. And you should do the same. You should turn off all the electricity in the house before messing with any type of wiring in your house to avoid any injury. Now, if you're your screwdriver, you're going to unscrew your old light switch. Okay, we have to check to see what's going on if there's a loose wire in there but you can see there that all the wires are connected properly okay you're gonna have two wires back there you're gonna have the return wire and you're gonna have the live wire which that's the one that that has the electricity going into the device and the white one will return it back to the electrical panel it's a circuit okay everything has to be connected so now what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna make sure no screws fall inside my sink. So make sure you have that covered. And this is the new paddle switch. You can see here, the back is identical to the old light switch in the wall. So it's just swapping it out. We're gonna loosen up the screws of the old light switch, take it out and then put the same way it is on the old one. We're gonna put it on the new one. You can see here we gotta first take those two screws out and save all the screws. Don't turn it, throw it away because you don't know, you know, if it's the exact fit, the screws that came in the new light switch. You can see here the holes where we're gonna, you know, put it on the drywall. Just giving you a close up. It's pretty much the same. It, it's really easy especially once you have the electricity of, of the house turned off you know that you're not in danger all right so i put on my light source because there's no light in the house you can see here nothing's going on i always double check to just to be safe you know so you're going to unscrew the top and you're going to unscrew the bottom Okay, now you can see the white wires is on the top one and the black wire is in the bottom. We're gonna do the same thing for the new one. We're gonna put the white one on the top and the black one in the bottom. And all you have to do is unscrew it just a little. You don't wanna take the whole screw out where the wire is connected. You just wanna loosen it up to remove the wire. Okay, we're not taking the screw out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and do that. All right, now I'm just unscrewing it just a, just enough so that the wire could be removed. See here, that's what I'm doing. If you're new to my channel, my name is Latin Toto and I do a weekly Amazon gift card giveaway. All you have to do to participate is be subscribed and leave a comment. Last week winner is Congratulations. So now with the new one, the paddle switch, I'm just unscrewing a little bit more so it could be easier for me to hook the wires to the device. So I'm just making sure it's, it's wide enough so it won't be so hard for me to put in the wires there. Okay, the wires are in place and now I'm just gonna tighten it. You don't want to completely squeeze it. You know I mean, so you can break the the copper wire, but you just want to make sure it's secure. 
it's gripped there it's not gonna get loose so I'm just tightening it just enough exactly enough for that wire not to get loose okay so it's pretty much just swapping it out and putting it back the same that's how it is and with the electricity off you have that safety that you're not gonna get electrocuted all right now we're just pushing it back into place now we got to put the screws back to hold it to the wall and then we're gonna have to put the cover okay so make sure you just put exactly where it was see now I'm gonna screw that back in now I screwed in completely okay now we're gonna put the cover I like the paddle switch because it looks a lot more modern and I think it lasts longer especially if you have you know children that's always gonna be messing with the light switch now we have it completely put on electricity will be turned back on and now is the final test so to see if we did a good job and we have light thanks for watching